Honorable Speaker, sir. I wish to. I wish to seek. I wish to seek some honest answers from the Honorable Finance Minister. Thank you, Abhay. The Honorable Finance Minister, madam, when you took the MP Lads Fund, time, time, kada ba Abhay? From all the MPs for two years, citing reason that you will be using that money for improving the medical infrastructure in this country. We thought let's chip in because we were facing the worst of times in this country and we all chipped in and we all chipped in hoping that you will be using that money for improving the medical infrastructure in this country and especially the rural hospitals in this country which are still in shambles and if you don't believe this I would request you to send a team to Maharashtra and I will take them around to rural hospitals in my state the pathetic condition in which they are. What was that MP lad meant for? Why do we use that MP lad fund? Does that mean that MP lad fund is used by the MP according to his own whims and fancies? No, it's not. That MP lad fund is used for the development of the constituency which you have taken away. Everybody in this house wants that MP lad fund to be given back. But none of the MPs from your party and from your alliance party are going to speak openly about it. Instead, they request us in the central hall to speak on this topic because we can't speak. We cannot speak on this topic. They request us. Madam, the second point is, what is the message that you are giving to the people of this country, and especially the minorities, when you slash the budget of the minorities in this country? Let me remind this August House, the constitution of this country doesn't allow anyone, anyone in this country, to do discrimination on the basis of caste and religion. Honorable Finance Minister, Madam, please give me one honest answer. Give me one reason why the budget for minorities has been slashed. You have taken that away. The third point, Madam, your party, the BJP, enjoyed power in Maharashtra with your so-called natural ally for so many years. But just because Shiv Sena, your ally, has dumped you, has abandoned you, or rather diversed you, and married the newfound love in the form of Congress and the NCP, does that mean the government has the right now to harass the common people of Maharashtra? Why then the 28,000 crore rupees which you owe to Maharashtra in the form of GST reimbursement is not being given? Who has given that right? We want to spend that money on welfare projects in Maharashtra, the Maharashtra government says, no, we are not getting that reimbursement amount of GST from the central government. Why we as common citizens of Maharashtra are being harassed just because you and the Shiv Sena are not in good books. You're fighting with each other. Why are the common people of Maharashtra being harassed? The answers to all this, madam, it's true that the points that I have mentioned, the money that you owe to minorities, the money that you have slashed from the minority budget, the money that you owe to Maharashtra in the form of GST reimbursements, the money that you owe to MPs in the form of MP lad fund is actually being used. We thought we chipped in because we thought that you are going to use that money for good projects. Instead, give me an answer that money is actually being used, is actually being used to realize the dream project of Mr. Narendra Modi ji, the Honorable Prime Minister, in building a new Lok Sabha building, in building a new Parliament House. Do you think, does anyone in this House realize, do we need this Parliament building at this point of time, when people are dying because of COVID, because of pandemic, the pathetic condition of hospitals continue, and just because the Prime Minister wants to realize his dream, you're spending thousands of crores of rupees on that new parliament building, buying a new aircraft for the Honorable Prime Minister, 7,500 crore rupees. Who has given that right? This is a democratic country, madam. You will have to listen to the people. Madam, just a short while back, a BJP MP from Maharashtra, Manoj Kotak, he cited a report which said, Moody's ne kaha hai, Modi's agency ne kaha hai ki aane wale samay ke andar, desh ke andar sif, pure dunya ke andar sif, Hindustan aisa rahega, jahaan par GDP double digit ka. Unho ne jaisa hi kaha, aap ne taliyan bajana shuru kar di, kyunki aap ki tarif ho rahi us report ke andar. Ek report, 
विदेश से यह भी आई है उसके बारे में भी सुनिए और सोचिए कि आप अगर यह करेंगे कि जो तारीफ करेंगे सिर्फ हम उसके लिए तालियां बजाएंगे और बाकी रिपोर्ट्स को नहीं मानेंगे द प्रो डेमोक्रेसी नॉन प्रॉफिट सुनिए द प्रो डेमोक्रेसी नॉन प्रॉफिट फ्रीडम हाउस की रिपोर्ट जो पूरी दुनिया के अंदर हमको शर्मिंदा करती है उसने कहा है कि इंडिया डेमोक्रेसी इन डिक्लाइन अंडर मोदी रूल द रिपोर्ट स्टेटेड इंडिया हैज फॉलन शॉर्ट ऑफ इट्स डेमोक्रेटिक आइडियल बिफोर मोदी टू बट रेडली हैज इट फॉलन सो फार सो बैड just one minute just one minute madam i think it's high time we need to set our priorities right yeah, make your the point country at this the country at this point of time doesn't need parliament building new aircrafts and wasteful expenditure the country today needs better hospitals more hospitals more education institutions scholarships for all the needy students in this country and regular drinking water for all but madam i'm sure you're just going to listen to us and you are going to do much the same way as you want or your government wants to do because the democracy in our country is on a decline it's towards dictatorship that we are going thank you